Hello and welcome back to the channel and the last remnant remastered 100% completion. So in today's episode we are going to turn in a couple of guild tasks, hire some more uh, soldiers and open up the world map a little bit. So first things we need to do is to go to Athlon. And let's recruit some soldiers. Let's have a look. Yes, we want meals. Oh, let's just check his weapon. Yes. And we want Chamberlain. Warrior's Broadsword, that is a guild task on its own. And I believe that's all we want from here. Oh, let's do this. This is the Mage Light Girl. So that mage like girl, you've just seen it, the Athlon Witch quest is completed. You keep bumping into her in various places and she gets more expensive every time. But if you do every single one of them, you do get to recruit her. Now she's a late game uh, availability, so you may not want to. I have done in the past and I can tell you, she is an excellent addition to your crew but you may consider that it's just too late in the game to add her to your team so here we go we got the shadow metal in the last episode from the catacombs where we went in and exited straight away nice bit of gold there's the warrior's broadsword from the soldier we've just hired saves you uh, making it yourself and Rush can now use potions. We have 30 strength and battle chain of 30. So some nice bit of gold. And the other unit we wish is Perneth. We want them for the hexes. We will be hiring Nora and Loki when we have a bit more money. I hire them, I don't usually use them, but I hire them because they both have their own side quests to do. So, that's that done. So now what shall we do? Oh, I know. Before we do anything else, we're going to do the uh, Major Light Girl again, the Stella Pelé Witch, and here she is, wanting more money. She now wants a thousand. You may have noticed on the world's map that the first path 
has become available. I did that in the last episode when I wasn't recording, and the way you open, I'll just show you. When you come to sell a Palais, if you go into this guild here, and you speak to this NPC, that's how you get the uh, first path unlocked. And you have to do that quite a few times to get them all open. We won't be going there just yet, but we will be going there at some point. So let's go do... Do you remember in the last episode we had the uh, secret letter quest accepted from Illusion? So we're going to go to Southwestern Road, open up the world map, complete the secret letter quest. Here in the Southwestern Road, I will say that... We need Mystic Fiend Fangs, four of them, that is a guild task. And we also need some Iron Ore. We need three of those for the Death Mask. And we also want some Vase Fragments for another guild task. I will do those when I'm not recording because they can take a while to get, unless you're very lucky with the RNG. But I will show you where the dig points are. That shiny dip there is a, night, a bandana of remembrance, I think it is. Yes. That's for a, a, a quest which becomes available very shortly. That tree there, you can see a dig point. That is where you get the mystic fiend fangs from. And you need four of them. I shall get those, like I say, when I'm not recording. Your iron ore and your vase fragments you get from that dig point there. Again, I shall do it when I'm not recording. The vase fragments you don't have to really worry about from there if you don't get them because we will be going to an area very shortly where they're actually literally just laying on the ground and you can just pick them up very, very easily. And I will show you that when we get to the area. Let me just see what this is over here. Hang on a minute for this one. I saw something shiny. Am I going blind? Am I going stupid? Oh, it's there, that's why. Come on out! What an idiot. Okay, later. And this opens up Baltarosa. So. And this is where we complete the secret letter quest. Like speaking to this gentleman here, the cheerful man. We had the gloomy man, we've now got the cheerful man. I 
And by completing that quest, Rush can now use remedies. But I don't want him to use them just yet. I want to build up his herbs. And we don't want him using potions either. We want to build up his herbs first. By speaking to the bartender there, you open up the world map again. The bandana of remembrance is for Jorgen. He wants three items, there's six altogether, you have to hand in at least three of them. We will be coming back in a minute to do the classy man quest. But before we do, We will be hiring Cademan because he has a a, 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 a a quest, a side quest all on his own. But as you can see, <laughs> we can't afford him just yet. We will be able to do shortly. He is an excellent choice. He can do evocations or he can be just combat. How you use him is entirely up to you. I tend to use him for his evocations. But again, the choice is up to you. So now what we want to do we want to go to Spiral or Spirale Market because we want to buy the Baltaro Z for David. This accessory here. You see it says AP charge plus one on damage. That means that when David asks for it when he uses his gay bogue he will get back all of his AP which will allow him to cast the gay bogue multiple times so a very handy accessory while we're here no, no. while we're here let's just get a few more herbs I think let's get ten of them I think mm. okay. ten of them no, no, that I think. That'll do for now. So, this is only a short video today because in the next video I want to explore whole of Mercado Castle and the Great Sand Sea and that can take a bit of a, a, bit of a, a while to do. Uh, and I want to do that in one video rather than span it out over two. So this is going to be a short video, so I'm going to end it here. 
Uh, thank you very much for dropping by and thank you for watching and I do hope to see you in the next one when we continue with the story. So until then, thank you for watching. <laughs>